What started as a domestic incident in the town of Berlin last night quickly ratcheted up to an exchange of gunfire with police that led to the death of a Rensselaer County man. Officials say troopers used deadly force on 38-year-old Stephen Bell after they feared he was about to turn a gun on them. State police held a press conference a short time ago. Matt Markham joins us live now at Troop G headquarters in Latham to fill us in on what they had to say. Matt? Good afternoon, Liz. Police reported to a home in Berlin about 5.30 yesterday to a report of domestic violence and a report that Mr. Bell had fired a rifle just about the time he left the scene of that house. About an hour after the initial call, a Bell's car was located in the Berlin State Forest. No weapon was found in there, according to New York State Police, but they did see ammunition in that vehicle. With the aid of night vision goggles, police then spotted Bell in the woods. Police say two officers then fired their weapons. He disregarded commands to stop. He disregarded commands to show his hands. Then he made threatening statements as he continued his approach and motioned as if he was bringing a weapon up. Police right now are in the woods, we're told, searching for that weapon. They haven't been able to find it yet. Two officers were involved in this shooting, we're told, that they did discharge their weapons. Uh, they are working, we're told, today, but they are not on their normal patrols. Uh, first aid was offered to Mr. Bell. He succumbed from his injuries, though, of course, as you know. And uh, this is a man who police tell us uh, was familiar to them. I'll explain why coming up at 5 o'clock. For now, we're live in Latham. Matt Markham, CBS 6 News.